Something about the sea has always pulled us in. Whether we're feeding on its bounty or navigating its waters, human history would be incomplete without tales from the deep. I'm Mike Grone, and as an archaeologist, I research ancient human relationships on the California coastline. Some of this work focuses on kelp forest resources and their importance to humans through time. So today, we're going to explore some of these underwater wonderlands and see what we can learn. Let's dive in and take a closer look. From the shore, we often only see the canopy of kelp forests, the blades and air pockets that bring them to the surface. But when we dive beneath them, we can see how deep and extensive they are. Giant kelps grow up to 150 feet and can grow nearly three feet in a single day. These immense underwater forests provide habitat for a wide diversity of animals. In fact, kelp forests are some of the most biodiverse and productive ecosystems on the planet. Native peoples in California have interacted with and stewarded these resources for thousands of years. Additionally, the rapid growth of kelp makes them a sustainable and renewable resource. Humans use them for a wide range of purposes, including food, fertilizer, and even medicine. They are also very important for regulating our climate, especially in the face of global warming. Kelp and seaweeds produce 70% of the oxygen on this planet and fix and hold a tremendous amount of nitrogen and carbon. Unfortunately, kelps are in trouble. Severe storms, high waves, and rising temperatures have led to the loss of this habitat on our coastlines. Kelps are also being slowly grazed away by a silent predator. In California, the purple sea urchin population has exploded due to the absence of sea otters resulting from historic overhunting. Urchins eat kelp from its base, leaving the rest to float away and a barren seafloor in its place. In some areas, divers are removing urchins by hand to give kelp a chance to hold on. Along with the pressure from grazing urchins, kelp prefer colder waters, and recent spikes in ocean temperature have led to early aging and decay of kelps in some areas. The disappearance of kelp forests on our coastline is troubling for many reasons. From the loss of biodiversity and habitat, to the destabilization of coastal zones in our global climate. However, not all is lost. Modern scientists and ocean stewards are working tirelessly to better understand this current crisis affecting kelp. Combining traditional ecological knowledge of indigenous peoples and modern ecological science to help better understand and steward these precious resources.